The long-awaited 1.6 update is finally here, and like many others, I have spent the past few days putting a disgusting amount of hours into the game discovering all of the new features that Concerned Ape has blessed us with. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know I'm obsessed with designing and decorating in this game, so I thought I would show you how I've designed the new rooms and updated my house with the new items. If you haven't already guessed, there will be lots of 1.6 spoilers in this video, so just a heads up. Let's get into it. Let's start off with the bedroom. I'll put a quick picture on screen just to show you what the bedroom looks like before the update. I haven't made a crazy amount of changes but I definitely prefer how it looks now. So I've used the brand new pink wooden flooring. I think it is so gorgeous and it goes so well with the birch coloured furniture as well. And I've changed the wallpaper to, um, I believe it's called the, the rose wallpaper. Um, it looks super girly and I love it. Sebastian's just gonna have to put up with it I guess. Um, and also my favourite new item ever, the cat tower. Isn't this just the cutest little thing ever? As far as I've seen, the cats don't actually use it, but it is adorable. Oh, I just love it so much. Um, and you can buy these from Money if you didn't know. There's also a black one as well, but I got the cream coloured one because it just fits the bedroom better and I wasn't sure where to put it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the bedroom update. So let's move on to the attic. Now the attic is of course a brand new room that you can get built in your farmhouse. And I've used items from the brand new wizard catalogue to create a sort of witchy room. I am absolutely in love with this room. I've got a whole separate video where I designed this on stream. So if you want to go and watch the full design process, I'll pop the link down below for you. I had so much fun. So I've got a little cauldron area here and I've used the elixir bottles to act like make a sort of messy potion area and some fallen books and book piles. So I wanted it to look really magical and I feel like it does give that vibe. Like these could be like spell books and potion books. Um, of course, I've got even more potion bottles. I've got a little broom on the wall here so it definitely gives out a witch vibe. I've got a, a knight statue. This isn't a new item in the game. I think you get it from the night market. I could be wrong um, but I just felt like it fit the vibe and I've got this dark piano. Now you can buy this piano from the Calico Desert Trader. It does take 999 coal to buy so I would stock up on your coal before you head over there. I've got a portrait of Sebastian. He fits the vibe really well, of course, being his dark and gloomy self. Um, you can buy portraits of your spouse from the trader lady that comes to Cindersat Forest for 30,000 gold once you've got your friendship hearts up to 14. And over in this corner here, I've added a crystal ball and an end table. Both of these are found in the wizard catalogue. Like most of this furniture is from the wizard catalogue. I'm just so in love with it. It's so gorgeous. Um, and of course, more books, little plant and a little bookshelf. I've also used a boarded up window here as well to make it look a little bit old and run down like no, no one's been here in a while. I just, I'm in love with this room so much. Let me know what you think. Moving down to the children's bedroom. Now I've literally, I think I've only made one change in this room. So I'll quickly show you what it looked like before. Um, the only thing I changed was the carpet. So I can't even remember. I think I had a purple carpet before. I've just changed it to this new blue carpet. I feel like it fits the underwater theme a lot better. Like it kind of looks like um, reflection patterns on water. Um, I just felt like it fit the vibe a lot. I think I might change the bedroom up a little bit. I haven't decided yet though, so uh, I'll let you know if I do. But moving over to this room here. Now, this room has had a major change, so I'll show you what it looked like before. Um, but obviously it used to be closed off, so this used to be my office area, but I've changed it. And I've turned it into a sort of like mini museum. So I've got this sword statue. I've also got my three statues here. I think they work really well in this room. And then just like a few little bits and bobs. So I've got my Stardew Valley award. Um, I got like an ancient mask here, uh, a cat statue that I got from the desert festival. Um, some of the museum rewards and then a little Junimo star at the top there, which you can get from the new Junimo catalog another super cute catalog by the way i've got a video coming out about everything you need to know about the five new catalogs in the game so keep your eyes open for that if you're interested it's coming very soon 
Now over here is another brand new room and this one was massive so I found it really difficult to decorate but I'm really happy with the result. I've turned it into a little at home library and like a little study area so I've used bookshelves, um, a lot of new items here, some stuff from the retro catalogue, um, a brochure stand. I think it looks so so cosy. Um, I've used lots of books on the floor to make it look like it's well used and well loved. I've added a little rug and some sort of cushions on the floor to make it look like a really cosy cute reading corner for the children. I think it's so cute. And then this little uh, nook over here I've just turned into a little study area so I've got some functional items here like my farm computer and some of the catalogues. Um, yeah, I really like it. I love how warm it feels. I would love to have this in my house in real life. I would spend so much time in here. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this build turned out. Moving down to the main room. Um, lots has changed here, so I'll show you what the room used to look like. This is what it looks like now. Um, so I don't even know where to begin. I've moved the fireplace over here and I put some bookshelves here, uh, a clock. I've made it look really cozy. Again, I've used lots of rugs and cushions. Um, and just to make it look like a little homely area, maybe you could sit by the fire and do some reading. I'm not too sure. I've replaced my fish tank with a, uh, I believe it's called the jungle tank. You can get this from doing the raccoon quest in Cindersat Forest. Um, so yeah, you can put fish in there like usual. So I just changed it out because I feel like it looks way cooler than the original uh, fish tank. I've replaced all of the windows, by the way, with these little triangle windows. I think they look so much better. Um, and I've done that throughout my entire house, I think. So uh, yeah, they, they make such a difference. Um, I've kept this little TV area pretty much the same. I've just added a little uh, stool here from the retro catalogue because I think it looks like a little uh, footstool um, and it fits the vibe so I really like it. It was getting dark so I just went and slept so that we can actually see what we're doing again. So this little cubby area here is a new part of the house that you can have built by Robin um, and I didn't get this initially because I had no idea what to put here. But I decided that I wanted my house to be fully upgraded with all of the possible upgrades that you can get for it. So I forced myself to get it and then I spent a really, really, really long time working out what to do with it. And I'm kind of, I'm quite happy with it. I made it into sort of like a messy, open sort of closet area. Um, I've got this lovely coat stand here. You can buy this from Sandy in the Calico Desert shop. Um, and I've got a few functional items in here as well, like the sewing machine and the telephone. Um, just like a load of random bits and bobs, but I think it does look really nice and it definitely fits the vibe of the entire room as well. So moving back over this way down to my southern room over here. Um, not much has changed again in this room. Um, I've changed the flooring and the wallpaper. This wallpaper is actually new and I feel like it's perfect for what we're going for, an indoor greenhouse, because I think it is meant to be a greenhouse wallpaper. You can sort of see like the grass shadows on the on the side to make it look like there's grass outside. So I think that suits the room really well. I'm really happy with it. Um, and then the only other changes I made really are just replacing some of the plants with some of the new ones. Um, there's quite a few new plants in this update so if you love using house plants in this game like me you're gonna be so happy with all of the new catalogues. Um, but yeah no I still really like this room. Moving over to the kitchen. Now so much has happened to the kitchen. I don't even know where to start. So initially this is what my kitchen looked like. I had a small table and chairs in here because there was no dining room obviously at that point but I have since changed up because you can now get a dining room added to your house from Robin with the update which I went and did so instead I've used a I think it's called a spirit table to act like a little kitchen island so rather than a full dining table a little kitchen island with a stool I think it looks really cute I changed the uh, flooring to be a bit more dark and cozy I feel like it looks much more like a cozy comfy farmhouse kitchen now I've kept this little pantry area pretty much the same uh, except instead of using backwards facing dresses like I had before I used uh, short bookcases from the wizard catalogue because I just feel like it looks way nicer now. Um, but yeah I'm really happy with the kitchen and then of course the brand new dining room. I 
Isn't this gorgeous? I designed most of this on stream as well, which by the way, if you do want to hang out in the streams, the link is down below. You'd be more than welcome to. I'd love to have you there. But I feel like this dining room looks so homely and lovely and posh and I, I just, I'm in love with it. There's this new dining table from the Depot catalogue, uh, which is amazing. It has all of these sort of different, oh, <laughs> all of these different food items and you can actually add a, your own centerpiece as well. So I just put that little uh, plant there. I think that's really nice. Um, I've added a fireplace uh, from the retro catalog, a wine table. Um, I've kept the color scheme quite warm and sort of brownish. So it's kind of like a rustic kitchen, I guess. Um, an upright piano in this little corner here, which I think, it, I just, I love how I've decorated this corner. So you can get this piano from the night market in the winter. And I can just imagine hosting big parties in here and having someone play the piano whilst everyone eats. And uh, it's just, I love it so much. Uh, a little cozy seating area as well with some books if you just want to chill out. Another fish tank and I've also used the uh, tip that I talked about in my interior design tips video where you pop a little uh, sunken ship model behind the fish tank to make it look like a model inside the tank itself. I think it really makes a difference but yeah a lovely little fish tank and then just more plants and bookshelves. You can never have too many plants and bookshelves in this game in my opinion and the update brought so many different types of those things um, so yeah I've just been adding them everywhere. <laughs> And then I've added a little dresser here from the retro catalogue uh, just in between the two rooms to make it connect a little bit better. But I think overall I'm so happy with how the kitchen and the dining room look. It's so much nicer having more space and being able to have a dedicated room for the table and chairs rather than cramming it all into the kitchen. So yeah, the upgrade is definitely worth it and then finally moving on to the basement now i haven't made many changes at all with the basement because i was so happy with it before but i didn't really think there was anything that i could do to improve it but i have added a spirits table and a wine table up here as well because of course it's a downstairs bar so i need to have some sort of like alcohol table with lots of bottles and stuff but yeah not much has changed but i'm still really really happy with this room so what do you think what was your favorite room how have you used the new 1.6 items to upgrade your house thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you did enjoy the video please do like and subscribe it really really means the world to me and there's lots more stardew and decorating videos coming soon thanks so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one bye